morning everyone. We're in Athens now. We slept in today because we had such a tiring day yesterday. Last night we were flying from Santorini to Athens past 12 midnight. We got some rest today. We woke up around 11 o'clock in the morning. We're in Monastiraki Market right now and then we're going to Pantheon the Acropolis in just a few minutes. But we're just taking the time right now to explore Monastiraki Market because they say this is the best market in Athens. <laughs> and we're looking for the perfect magnet for our collection first things first we're gonna go grab some lunch right now we're looking for just you know the regular stuff that we usually have here in Greece pork souvlaki euros see y'all later first meal in Athens is a mixed grill with everything on it so pork souvlaki some pork gyro meat some sausage, oh, fries, pita bread, onions, tomatoes, and of course, tzatziki. On our way up to the Acropolis, and we run into this tree here, Kalamansi. They're very big. I don't think they harvest them. Climbing up the side of the Acropolis, and you can clearly see all the ancient ruins that were passed by. You just cut. All right. <laughs> but yeah, you just see all these like rocks and buildings that have been torn down by time. We're almost there. There's pine trees everywhere. It's pretty cool. Check out this ancient rock slab. So we have to get up this rock and there's two ways. Modern way, ancient way. Behind me is the Acropolis, the Pantheon. The other side is just a view of Athens from the top. Crazy. And right on top of this entire hill is the world famous, the historic Pantheon. We're at the top of the Acropolis now. Right behind us is the Parthenon. I'm sorry, I was wrong before. I said Pantheon, but this is the Parthenon. And then we have this amazing view. Athens, right behind us. Check it out, babe. It's 20 euros to get up here. It's definitely worth it. It's pretty cool. We're being rushed to the exits. They say it's closing time. this garden that we saw at Syntagma and it's pretty cool here it's a nice stroll through the park I'm thinking this is like a, an ancient garden because they have monuments and stuff inside and these interesting really tall trees but we're, right now we're actually lost we don't know where we're going so we're just walking around trying to see where everybody else is restaurant and we're just walking it's pretty busy right now it's really lively here in the Monastiraki we just came from the, the Parthenon and now we're gonna go grab some dinner we found it street walk it's a cheap option for Asian food here so excited to eat Asian food I've never been this excited to eat Asian food in Europe it's so busy here Super busy, everybody's just trying to get Asian food here. I guess this is one of the best places to get it. We have rice with shrimp and pork, and then we have noodles with the same thing, shrimp and pork, fried garlic, and uh, pepper garlic sauce, sweet chili sauce, 
Bon Appetit, we're gonna eat this and then we'll, we'll go back outside. Our street is laced with history. Got the Acropolis right up in that hill over there. Hello, doggy. What we found. Day two in Athens and it's time for lunch. We just came from church and now we're gonna have some lunch before heading back to the city area. We went to this lunch spot here, Porto Grill. It's two o'clock, it's pretty laid out, but we had to fix a problem with our bank. So just a tip for you guys, if you need to contact your bank or any organization overseas, use Skype. Just buy Skype credit, it's pretty cheap, and then you can, you can pretty much use it as a call. You don't have to buy like credits for your uh, SIM card so that you can call overseas, you just have to use Skype. So basically, yeah, it's a lot cheaper than roaming because for roaming, you have to pay for your roaming fees, and you have to pay for the main country fees. But for Skype, all you have to do is pay just a small amount. I just paid four euros for 400 minutes in Singapore. But, you know, if it's charged per minute, it still has cheaper rates. Skype, it's a much better option than regular roaming. Sparky because he's barky. We can't see the sea there. It's too smoggy. I don't yeah, know why. You can barely see it though. It shows up a little bit. Yeah. Love the mountains over there. Good job, Sparky, oh, for coming back. Hold it, Hello everybody, we reached Mount Lycabetus. There's some really cool views of Athens here. We just got done flying the drone. Successful flight, although the wind was a little strong for the spark to handle, so I had a little trouble managing it, but everything turned out great. As soon as I landed it, it lost signal, so... Really? <laughs> yeah, lost transmission, but good thing it didn't happen in the air. We're gonna try to fly it again once we reach the top of the hill, because there's still a ways to go. We have to hike the rest of the way because the cars can't go there. So one of the things that you can see from here is this amazing view of the Acropolis from like a Betis Hill. And they say when the sun goes down, the lights come up and it's just a really beautiful sight. So just continually walking. We've been hiking for how many days now? <laughs> I gotta catch my breath. This is a great view though. Bad cacti. And we're moving. Okay. <laughs> the enemy of Mr. Carlos Miguel Cinco. I think this is the culprit. The you know? one without the thorns, that's the enemy. Yeah. We're continuing our climb to the top here. This is probably the last stretch until we reach the top. We've reached the top.
ride this little machine here called the Funicular. So we made it to Atlanticos where we're gonna have dinner. They say this is one of the best seafood spots in Athens and we're ready to have some seafood, man. After about five or six days straight, just eating pork. We've got the uh, grilled vegetable plate, deep fried mussels with garlic sauce, and then some uh, mini shrimp. This is the seafood platter. It has the fish and it has the everything on it. So it should be good.